Hello, this is Gavin Palmer with Hero Looking for Group and the YouTube channel Write in Gavin Palmer. And today I used a large language model as a teacher, which might be the best teacher in the world. And the thread ended up being titled Dealing with Rigid People. And in this exchange with the large language model, I was encouraged to encourage you and myself to try being open-minded and practice active listening, which basically means we should be able to be willing and able to listen and understand those who disagree with us. And you can actually use the large language model to do that. You can check out some of my other videos on both YouTube channels where I basically ask for the benefits and the risks of an idea. So go do that. And so what I will do now is point at another YouTube channel where you might be able to engage with someone who is not a popular voice, um, who will try to help you practice being open-minded and to practice active listening. And that would be the Griswold Grimm YouTube channel. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description below. And now I will refer to a list of potential truths provided by the large language model to warn you and to help you practice defense against the dark arts. So here we go. So I asked the large language model, I said, or I prompted, I said, create a list of phrases that start with most people, which might help explain why there are so many popular people who aren't willing and able to listen and understand those who disagree with them. Here's the list. Dun, dun, dun. We could go for number 10. Number one. Most people are drawn to charisma and confidence, which can sometimes overshadow a person's willingness to listen and understand differing opinions. Number two, most people prefer familiarity and tend to gravitate towards those who share their beliefs and values, creating echo chambers that reinforce their existing opinions. Number three, most people are more likely to follow popular trends and opinions rather than critically evaluate the perspectives being presented. Number four, most people have a natural inclination to seek out information that confirms their existing beliefs, a phenomenon known as confirmation bias. Number five, most people are more emotionally affected by stories and anecdotes than by objective evidence, which can make them more susceptible to persuasive yet closed-minded figures. Number six, most people have limited time and attention leading them to focus on easily digestible content from popular sources rather than seeking out diverse perspectives. Number seven, most people may not recognize the importance of active listening and open-mindedness, and thus may not prioritize these qualities in the people they choose to follow. Number eight, most people are influenced by social proof, meaning that they are more likely to adopt the opinions or behaviors of those they perceive as popular or authoritative. Number nine, most people can be swayed by charismatic leaders who provide a sense of certainty and direction, even if they do not demonstrate a willingness to listen and understand differing views. Number 10, most people tend to avoid engaging in uncomfortable or challenging conversations, preferring to interact with those who share similar opinions and avoid confrontation. It's important to remember that these generalizations do not apply to everyone, and there are many individuals who prioritize active listening and open-mindedness. However, these phrases can help explain some of the reasons why certain popular figures may not exhibit a willingness to listen to and understand those who disagree with them. So if you want to practice open-mindedness and practice active listening, I am just going to point you at the Griswold Grimm YouTube channel. He's a pretty open-minded fellow, and He's practicing active listening. Um, it's hard. It's not easy. And we can practice together. So I hope to see you there at the Griswold Grimm YouTube channel and his Discord server, The Broken Clock Tower. And let me know what you think in the comments below. What I would love is to be overwhelmed with feedback so that I have to create tools and robots to help me identify the signals and filter out the noise. Because this is an important problem to solve. And nobody seems to be doing it. All right. Have a good day.